Welcome to this month's Heath Highlight, where we are back with Heather Wright of Wright Architecture. But today, we're talking about something that most of you have probably heard of, but don't know much about. It's called an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit. Maybe you've heard of it before, you called it an in-law, you called it a granny unit. Well, officially called an ADU. Today, we're gonna talk about the pros, the cons of your very own ADU. So we're here at 430 B Street with Heather Wright. And in building 430 B Street, I had this extra land and I thought, okay, well, I'm an investor and I want some passive income down the road. So what do I do with this extra lot? Yes, it's great to have a yard, but when California changed all the rules on adding ADUs, I called Heather and I said, Heather, what can I do with this space? Well, she told me all about the advantages of an ADU, but she also taught me about JADUs. Can you explain a little bit about the difference between ADUs, JADUs, who gets to add them, who doesn't, and the overview of all of that? Well, all residential lots, um, so something zoned for a single family residence, mm -hmm. is allowed to have one JADU, that's a junior accessory dwelling unit, and one ADU, an accessory dwelling unit. The fundamental difference is that junior accessory dwelling units are built within the existing house. So you can't add any more square feet for a JADU? No. For an ADU, you can build a standalone, you can build an addition to the house, um, and you can build larger. JADUs are max out at 500 square feet. An ADU has to be a fully functioning unit with a real kitchen. Okay. And um, how big can that be? 1,200 square feet max. What are some of the advantages of adding an ADU to your property? Advantages of adding an ADU are really flexibility. Flexibility for your own use. You know, one of your parents or a child wants want to live there without being in the same house. That adds maximum flexibility. It also adds the potential for a rental and then added value to the property itself. You know, once you have multiple units, it's more valuable. But I would also kind of counter that and I'd say, okay, there are probably some cons to building an ADU too, right? Yeah. And the cons that I'm aware of are obviously like, I would have a big yard here if I didn't add an ADU. So the yard space is gonna be smaller. Right. You'll have less storage. I think the other con that sometimes people don't think about is the fact that your property taxes will go up. The property taxes don't actually go up on your main structure, but they change your property taxes mm -hmm. based on the new structure. And those are typically at about one to 1.5% 1 of your build costs. So if your ADU costs $200,000 to build, your property taxes will go up by one to 1.5% 1 of that build cost per year. So that right. is definitely a con. That's, and it costs money to build an ADU, right? right. You know, in, mo in my experience, the pros really do outweigh the cons if you can afford to build it in the first place. I mean, that's why it's we're doing it, right? an investment in yourself, right? Yeah. 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 So even though there are more pros than cons, I think the other thing to touch on is that building an ADU and the process to build an ADU is supposed to be a lot easier. Talk about timeframes, talk about rules in terms of setbacks and variances and anything else you can think of as to how the state is making it easier to add ADUs to properties. Yeah, well, the state is, Make, relaxing some of the rules in the physical space, they're making it easier to build. So they're reducing the rear and side setbacks, which we're taking advantage of here. So that they're four feet instead of, they could be five to 10 feet, depending on your, your zoning. Mm -hmm. um, but the four feet standard. Another thing they're doing is allowing you, um, even if you've maxed out your floor area that's allowed on your lot. Which I talk to my clients about floor area ratio all the time, so yeah. they know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> well, yeah, and just to recap, it's the maximum interior built space that is allowed for your given lot. And it's a calculate, it's a ratio a of house to lot, yep. right? And each zone has its own rules for that. Um, if you don't have any extra floor area, um, you are you're still allowed, out. and you're already maxed out, yep. you're still allowed to put an ADU on your lot. Huge um, advantage. What they call that at the state level is a guaranteed maximum allowance, mm -hmm. which allows you to have one 800 square foot max ADU. Uh, that's one bedroom, even if it's over, you fully built out your site, which is huge. 
So you are maxed out at, if you're over your FAR, you're maxed out at an 800 square foot instead of the 1200, which you can get if you're not currently over your FAR. Right. So 1200 is the, the state maximum for an ADU right. size. The other thing is they've reduced the review timelines oh, and that's the right. fees Talk about that. Um, with, this, with the city or the county, depending on what your jurisdiction is, which is huge because there's a big backlog of, of projects that they're reviewing. It takes them time. So isn't it that they have to respond with any comments within 30 days, any planning comments, correct? Yes. And then they have to, if you address those comments right away, they only have another 30 days to approve you, correct? Correct, yeah. So it's a 60 day from submission to build time. To build date. Yeah, which is amazing. It which can is amazing be... because this has been a year and a half. Yeah. So I'll take 60 days over a year and a half any time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So the state really is trying to make ADUs a viable option for people to add value to their property, mm -hmm. solve familial problems because it's so expensive to live around here. Yeah. Right? And well, and if you just need somebody in a separate space for a well, minute. I mean, very <laughs> true. <laughs> They did call them in-law units for a reason. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're adding an ADU here at B Street because it's a super viable option. So after talking to Heather, doing some research on California websites, I decided adding an ADU to 430 B Street was an absolute must. And I gotta tell you, this little ADU, two bedrooms, one and a half bath, vaulted ceilings, views of the bay, I might just have to move there. <laughs>